Look at this lovely tripod. Ooh. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Paola. As you can see from the title, this is a South Sea Sturlson cosplay tutorial that I'm about to do. So I'll just jump right into it and I'll show you all that I have. I'm going to start with the easiest one that I made and that was a scythe. Um, you can't really see it but it's kind of big in comparison to my body. This is like basically half of my body. How I made it was I got this six foot um, pole. What is this? It's PVC pipe. Yeah, six foot PVC pipe from Home Depot. It's right next to where I work at. Um, for the whole pipe, it was like probably two, three dollars, and that's not that bad. Then at the bottom, I had I got like this PVC pipe stopper. Oh my god, the paint is like rubbed off. It's so sad, and it's split. Because um, unfortunately, I don't really take much care for my cosplay materials, which sucks. I should probably take care of that. And so basically, what I did was I got a cardboard box and I uh, shaped this out. I kind of just eyeballed it. Um, I saw a lot of people had more intricate designs for their scythe, but I decided to just do a simple one. So I did two layers of the cardboard, um, this shape, and then I did like a small thin triangle for the top, a small thin triangle for the bottom, and like a rectangle for the back. Then afterwards, I just took hot glue gun that I got from Walmart and I pieced them all together. So basically, I took all the pieces, I stuck them all together, I wrapped up with a tape, and uh, I took, what is this, Mod Podge, and I painted it over so it can have a little more sturdier, like, application. Afterwards, I spray painted it, um, and yeah, I spray painted this, and I spray painted the whole pipe, and this took, like, maybe an hour or two to make. I made this right after I made the helmet. Okay, I moved to the outside. Hopefully it's not super crazy windy. So before the helmet went into like the whole building process, I just sanded it really quick and I put like a primer coat. I don't know why, but that was kind of useless. Like the whole process of making this um, helmet would have been a lot easier if I didn't go through all the extra steps that I took. Um, so I sanded that off really quick. I took off the visor. The visor is removable for this specific model. Um, I took it off and I taped it with the, the blue tape, the painter's tape. Then I also taped the, the sides of the helmet, like the black rim of the helmet, with the painter's tape as well. So, it, so when I paint it afterwards, when I spray paint everything afterwards, it wouldn't be like yellow or blue. Yeah, so that's what I did. I taped everything off that I didn't want didn't want painted and then afterwards I took like two pieces of cardboard and I shaped it as an ear so like like that curved and curved as well and curved here so I took two like triangles for the using cardstock and I taped them on top of the helmet this way I took modeling clay not really it was air drying clay from Crayola that was probably like the worst idea that I should have that I did but I, I sculpted it at first. I didn't know that it would dry really badly. There was cracks everywhere. And then, uh, so basically what I should have just done instead. Um, the, the cardstock for like the base. Then I put probably two layers of the, of the clay. It, even though it would break, I should have taken Mod Podge and then sealed in the cracks. Because that's what I did eventually in the end. I sealed in the cracks using Mod Podge. Um, I sanded it a little bit and then, but then unfortunately this happened though like after the con so luckily I didn't walk around with a busted ass ear. Um, so I sealed in the cracks using Mod Podge, I sanded it down a little bit, um, but I didn't do a really good job at sanding. Um, one recommendation I would do for the future, whoever want to do this, if you seal it in with Mod Podge, use like a sponge brush instead of an actual brush so you, you wouldn't see the strokes of the Mod Podge after, we're, after you like paint it using the spray paints. So that's one thing I should have done. Um, and also do not put clay in the front or it would look hella ratchet. So that looks sick. Anyway, all I would do is take the cardstock ear templates, put two layers of clay regardless. So if it, cr if it dries, it wouldn't cr uh, crack as much. And then 
uh, seal in any cracks with Mod Podge and then sand it down a little bit because you do use clay and it's going to be a little bit rough and then spray paint it. So all I did for spray painting afterwards, I taped it using the blue tape. First I did the yellow part, so I taped the, 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 these corners right here, covered the, the blue part here with like saran wrap and then taped it down right using the painter's tape then I spray painted the front then I did the same thing so I taped it off and then I covered this part with saran wrap then I painted it blue and then for the visor what I used was window tint um, I got this from Amazon for like a roll of 12 feet for probably four dollars um, if you have if, it would be better though if you get like a helmet online that already the visor is tinted because the window tint that I used it was kind of hard to work with because I this is like the third try for the window tint while I put on the visor and you still see like like the bubbles and the raises and whatever okay so the gloves I got them from a vintage thrift store that I have in like our downtown area I bought that for like it was really expensive because I didn't have time to order it off of Amazon because I put it off to the last minute um, and that was around $15 for the pair of black leather gloves but I think they're pretty good because they were really like cute and stylish and they fit my hands really well and I also it like I could use my phone with it even though it was like really hot in my hands I could still like use it to touch the buttons but sometimes I also took it off so I could um, like grab things from my bag and it wouldn't be like too uncomfortable um, from the shoes, I got it off of Charlotte Russe. Luckily, it was a sale in their part. Um, um, I see like the actual price is like $40.99 or I think it was $49.99 but something around $50. But then the sale that they had, it was $15 plus free shipping. So I got this $15 plus tax which is like probably $19 or $18, $19 and free shipping. So that like the shoes are really cute because now I use them often after like the whole cosplay thing even before the cosplay thing i use it often this is a spray paint that i used um i use this as to prime my helmet so like the initial designs of the helmet that i bought wouldn't show through i put two layers of each of the paints so it would look more opaque but if you feel like you should do three three layers and that's totally fine it's totally up to you um i use this brand right here and I tried to make them well I think they're all the same type of paint so that the paint would um, agree with each other in the end so there wouldn't be weird cracking when you do paint try and do it at least 12 inches away from your away from your subject so you wouldn't have weird dripping things I learned that the hard way I put way too much paint um, and you can see right here it's kind of wet and it dripped down so if you want a smoother job application do it farther and wait for it to dry before you put on the second layer it happens a lot throughout my whole thing but um i kind of learned from it it was a, it was a painful experience but it was a fun experience overall because um cosplaying i think is really worth it if you actually like the character that you're doing and if you actually put a lot of time and effort in it um cosplaying as salty was one of the best experiences that i did because it was my first time cosplaying and also, well, I love Selty. I love Dora, even though I haven't watched the second season of it, but I think Fanime this year was a really good experience compared to my last year at Fanime. Although this year it was kind of like ups and downs, it was a lot of fun. Um, so until next time, and I think um, I'd like to thank everyone for like watching my videos and I hope you like and please subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Oh.